Hello, how are you? Uh, uh, this is the Bend Back River Minnow. I uh, made a few modifications on it this week, and uh, it's on like a one knot hook, and you slightly bend it, um, and you uh, uh, wrap it in two, two five, 0.25 wire, about 12 wraps. I put a little super glue on it to add for durability. Hopefully I'm catching a lot of bass on this. Looks like it might be pretty bassy and you'll see. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm wrapping some uh, crystal chenille around it. Uh, it's kind of a, it's a, kind of a thin, uh, you know, it's not a real thick crystal chenille. It's kind of shiny, you know, look, look, looks like a little menor uh, belly. And, um, and I already put the wire on it and I'm putting it over the wire and so now I'm just kind of tying that uh, chineal off and then next what I'm going to worry about I think I flipped the, the hook over I'm like yeah I can't do it this way I gotta do it that way and there you go tighten the hook up and, um, and you know this is going to be a weedless fly but I, I, I think I nailed the uh, recipe um, you need some crystal chenille, some 0.25 wire, white thread. Um, I, I got some super glue, and okay, now I'm putting on some bucktail. You got some white bucktail, and uh, you know you kind of do it about two, two, two times the length of the, uh, of, of the, two and a half times maybe the length of the hook, uh, and the bucktail kind of helps everything kind of it, it helps the fly be weedless okay and you kind of wrap that down and then you're going to put um you're going to put some uh about six strands of polar flash um or, or pearl flash excuse me here i am i always wrestle with things i don't mean to wrestle with things i'm just kind of a wrestler but um Again, you put that on, and that kind of gives it its real minnowy effect. Um, uh, you know, I, I wish I'd just quit messing everything up. But anyhow, you lay that down, you kind of trim it. Um, and then <clears throat> you're going to put some... Uh, some... Uh, Nope, not that yet. You gotta, you gotta put some barred feathers on it, I think. Or, or do I put that? But that's EP fiber, and you're gonna put that down. Um, and you, you kind of gotta make it where it's uh, kind of um, tapered. You know, you kind of you you, you you want it to like have like a natural taper to it, and so you kind of just kind of pull it and. Um, okay, so here's the barred hackle feathers, I think, right? You need to put those down first. There you go. There's that one's long enough. And uh, so you get those, cut them out, and trim them down. And it's going to have some silly legs on it too. Um, so yeah, kind of pull that out and glue it to the side. Um, there you go just um, and then I believe I fold that back and pull over the tag in and then wrap some more just kind of make it you know so they can't pull that stuff out and then we get the other side with a hackle feather and uh, I don't know why they like these barred feathers um, so much but fish just kind of just freak out over those but that's a good thing right to have them freak out over your fly um, there you go and So, got the hackle feathers on. Now we're gonna put the EP fiber on. Remember, it's gotta be tapered. And there we go. Get 
get that going. Not too much. You know, we just want a small little wing, not, not a big wing. All right, there we go. We've got a wing on it. Tie it down. Put some silly legs on it. Put two of them on there and I'd like bend it in half and put it on the fly and run it down the side. Um, there you go. Got that going. And you kind of trim it off on the ends there a little shorter than the fly. Tie it all down, there you go. Whip finish. All right, so here I got some laser dub. Now I bought this stuff um, to do the lunch money. And I think my version's kind of a, kind of got some lunch money-ish qualities about it. Um, probably too much. So I should have edited this out, but I didn't. Sorry, guys. Well, I think I did, oh, okay. Okay. I didn't edit enough out. All right. So we got the uh, laser dub on there, laser dub head, and um, now we're gonna put the eyes on it. And I, and I, I got some, I think they're quarter inch, I think is what they said, quarter inch eyes. And they're kind of chartreuse and um, I had the, you know I added some details to the fly but uh, put some there we go Flip it over, put the other eye on. And the fly is almost complete. Now, what I didn't do is I put some of that bug UV finish stuff on there, on the head, to kind of give a little extra support for those eyes, keep them kind of glued down. Um, yeah, so Senyo's dank uh, laser dub. Um, overall, I think that fly looks really nice. Uh, kind of looks like it has a big gut, and I kind of put some uh, bars on the front. Um, I've already done the UV protection, but the, yeah, this is a, it looks like it's gonna be a, a, a nice little weedless fly. Um, see how it does tomorrow when I'm out fishing. I might add some red in there, like some little gills or something, I don't know. Maybe a little orange or something. Um, but thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe.